Hello. Can I introduce you to Mr. Joe Fatterini, the resident wine expert for Celebrity Cruises from The Wine Show? Well, I shall return the compliment. Amelia Singer, resident wine expert from The Wine Show, and we're bringing different perspectives on new things happening on Celebrity Cruises this year. Absolutely. I mean, it's such a diverse selection, perhaps the largest and most rare collection of wine at sea. Over 500 different kinds of wine to choose from. Have you drunk them all yet? Not yet. I'm looking forward to. And there's all new stuff that you've got to get stuck into as well. Absolutely. Well, the 2018 selection, you have the likes of France and Italy, Australia, New Zealand, Argentina and Chile, and now they're even venturing into Eastern Europe. Well, what I like is there's a new stylistic direction, because I think fragrant whites are where we're going. There's some really exciting stuff. Grunewald Liner from Austria, the lovely bitter crunch at the back, oh. which people really enjoy. Pinot Blanc from Alsace. Mm. If you enjoy a lighter, fragrant style of Chardonnay, that's a lovely direction to go. It's slightly floral. Um, I'll tell you what I've really enjoyed. Croatian Malvasia. Oh, I want to try that. You like those ideas. Yeah. That, don't you? But Carva, when did you last have Carva? I actually really like Carva. I think Carva is so much more food friendly than Prosecco. Yeah, get into some of the new Carva on board. One thing I am looking forward to trying, because I've always enjoyed the private label wines on board. This year, there's a new one from Grigit Chills. Is that how it's Oh, Grigit Chills. Grigit Chills. Ah, you know them, yes, don't you? absolutely, from California. The Opulence Range. Have a look Very for those. Nice. And what we know is that the wines have been specially selected for people on board. They're really delicious and great value for some of the greatest producers in the world. No matter what style of wine you like, you can go and taste it through the drinks packages that you choose. Sauvignon Blanc can be expressed in lots of different ways. So if you have the classic drinks package, you go to, let's say, Chile. There's Gran Araucaria, beautiful Sauvignon Blanc, vibrant, zesty, nice. slightly limey, tropical character. If I was to then go and choose the premium drinks package, mm -hmm. you could continue on that tropical theme with a oh, great producer. You enjoy this. Villa Maria. Oh, from New Zealand. New Zealand. Yes vibrant, really bright kiwi Fleshy. fruit. Or you could go into something that's maybe a little more restrained and old-worldy, Domaine Le Brun in France. Very elegant. Tell me a bit about, there's your specialist area, California. Oh, well, I love Californian wine, and there's such a huge offering on board. With the premium package, you get lovely cherry tart Pinot Noir. We've had that. Absolutely. Like it very much. Featured that on the series. And you can also get Kendall Jackson too, but then if you pay a little bit more, you get La Crema from Willamette Valley in Oregon. I am going to be trying the taste of the vineyards, is where sommeliers have gone away, picked up the wines they really enjoy that express a particular place. So something like uh, Chardonnay from Louis Jado, or maybe going down to like a super Tuscan, Il Fauno di Arcanum. Ooh. Have you ever tried that? No, I want to. It's going to knock your socks off. But also, what is amazing that in all the bars and restaurants, they're now featuring the exquisite Riedel wine glasses to really enhance the style and the perfume. So do you know what you're going to look for when you next go on board? I'm heading straight for that Malvasia. You're going straight for Malvasia, Absolutely. aren't you? Absolutely. <laughs> I think I'm going to go straight to Tuscany, whether it's sailing or just drinking. That sums oh, us up very well. We're going to travel the world <laughs> vinously.